morning. Welcome to our European morning call. And uh, stocks are weaker today uh, after the uh, US Federal Reserve minutes uh, cast a shadow over the recent bull run. Uh, they flagged up the uncertainty, they flagged up the, the problems, but didn't offer any more goodies for the market. Um, and that is casting a shadow on the markets today. So European stocks are weaker. Uh, FTSE trading at 60, uh, just above 6,000. Um, the S&P closed uh, weaker, uh, having made that record high and made a second record high on the day, but then closed, tried to take it, uh, just failed at 3,400 and then sank as low as 33.48 there. So dropped 50 points off the back of that uh, Federal Reserve release. And you can see here where we were trading at, uh, we were trading up at 33.90, just about at seven o'clock when the minutes came out and then it's pulled back. So um, the dollar's up, it found strong bid, you can see that here, uh, and then euro dollar down, cable down, gold sank as well. So um, really clear reaction uh, from the Fed minutes there. Just underlining the fact that um, it's not going to be that easy. This straight line path uh, for any markets is going to be tough to maintain. And the USA 500, the S&P at record highs was always susceptible to a pullback. And we've had it was a 50 point pullback there. We'll see if that continues. Uh, European stocks are weaker today. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if we get any further momentum on the downside or whether uh, things get uh, secured. A um, couple of updates for you. Uh, X dividends factors will have clipped 7.7 points from the FTSE 100. So if you're doing the UK 100, that would have been adjusted last night. Um, and there's some analyst upgrades and so on. So give us a shout if you've got any questions. Uh, ADP employment, non-farm employment change uh, today, Philly Fed Manufacturing Index, uh, weekly US unemployment claims data, uh, as well as well as natural gas storage coming up. So that's it for now. Uh, we'll move for you throughout the day. Thanks for watching.